For many homeowners, it is a money pit. The cost to fix the sinking and leaning Millennium Tower was more expensive than expected. The owners are now getting stuck with another big bill to make up some of that difference. NBC's investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken has the exclusive story. I don't know what to do with this place because uh, it's costly. Uh, I cannot live in it. Meritad Mustafavi has moved out of the condo he owns in the Millennium Tower, the apartment he once called his happy place. This pipe. He left shortly after this sewage overflow in his kitchen. We showed you back in June. Something Millennium engineers had warned could be a byproduct of the tower's tilting. And as he struggles to work out who will pay to clean it up, Mustafavi is facing another surprise bill, a nearly $14,000 assessment to cover cost overruns on the big construction project to finally stop the Millennium Tower from sinking. Everyone in the building must pay $10 per square foot, due next month. Luxurious building, famous building, but uh, unfortunately it's not like this for me. As an owner, I am really suffering. Millennium officials assured homeowners the entire $100 million cost of the fix would be paid from the settlement of lawsuits against the developer, the city, and others. It was a large settlement, enough to compensate owners for the loss of the value of their apartments, with $150 million set aside to secure this high-rise to bedrock and pay for other costs. But even after the developer and contractor pitched in a combined $10 million for cost overruns, Millennium officials just informed owners it wasn't enough. They sent a letter stating, the delays in the city's heightened requirements resulted in significant unforeseen project cost increases. And in the end, they came up $6.8 million short. I'm really not having a hard time to see how can I live in the retirement, uh, how to get off this apartment and do my retirement. Okay, it's very costly and they keep adding, asking more money and this is not uh, acceptable for me. Meanwhile, monitoring data shows that since the project ended in June, the tilting has only improved by a fraction and the tower is still leaning 29 inches at the northwest corner. In San Francisco, Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News. Continues to be frustrating for so many of those homeowners. If you have a tip for Jackson about the Millennium Tower or any other story, give us a call. You see the numbers on your screen, our investigative unit, 888-996-TIPS, or you can simply visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.